Hey you guys, this is Chef Egan again. So again, I'm going to go over just a few things about Google Framework and all the different mods. Uh, again, it takes a little bit of time, you guys. Look, look Google, uh, let's see, you have to Google Play Store on Nook HD, and you'll find it in XDA Developers Forums. But I just want to show you a few of the different things. So here's YouTube. That's about as quick as it loads, which is fine. Uh, everything works just fine. It, it might stutter sometimes, but overall it works uh, very cleanly. If I do a uh, any one of these videos here, pick one HD of the Galaxy Note 2. There we go. I have that phone. Uh, if it actually loads, there. In this video, we're going to be doing part two of the See? Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Phone. Full HD. Looks brilliant. Go it's back from there. The Next up, we have Google Talk. Everything loads. All my friends there. Home button. Next we have Gmail. I'm obviously not going to focus in on this one because email is very private, but that all works just fine as well. So here's a neat feature. I like Google Maps, obviously. Who doesn't? There we go. It works. It works very well. This is Los Angeles. Now, keep in mind, we do not have GPS on our Nooks. So location services aren't going to work like that. In fact, I don't even know if we can use location services via Wi-Fi. I don't think so. I don't know. But we didn't get... Well, I don't know about you. I didn't get the Nook for that reason. I got it for the beautiful display, for reading and for studying and whatnot. Uh, but it loads very quick, very, very quick. Here, for example, example are layers. We turn on traffic. That loads no problem. We can load satellite view. And this really gives you an idea of how cleanly everything works within this unit. I could zoom all the way in. And you guys see that? It's beautiful. Oh, it even has that. That's good to know. See? Okay. So that's Google Maps. Enjoy that. Use your phone to navigate for navigation or something else. So now things like Calendar load the Nook version of it. Okay? So no matter what I do, if I go, I mean, I can, to be honest, I haven't even tried installing regular Google Calendar yet. Should work, but uh, one thing I have to note that I do not like, it will be fixed hopefully eventually with all the developer support, is if we try to go to windows that were open previously like we do with any Android device, uh, this, this is an ice cream sandwich base, so you should be able to do that, you would think. You saw all the apps I just opened up. If I click that, they should be there. They're not. They're not because this works off of the system memory. And like I mentioned in a previous video, we cannot install onto system memory as of yet. I'll go into a boot loop and it will reset and restart and you'll lose root. So do not install anything, anything that requires super user permission or has deep install packets into the system folder. Nook again checks that, however Barnes Noble has done it. And uh, even though this part here works and this will take you back to uh, the Nook launcher and what you have over there. So. Sorry to say, you can't open things from one, like Angry Birds Star Wars, and scroll over to your book. It just does not work that way. So that's it. One last thing. Obviously, because it is an Android launcher, a stock Android launcher, you can, in fact, download any uh, widget that you like, whatever you're used to using. Install the widgets, as I did that photo frame there. Uh, so that works as well. You know, Pandora, all everything else works. Uh, if anything else comes up, uh, something new, something exciting, I'll be sure to post it on my page. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like, and subscribe. Thank you very much.